Well, uh, howdy folks. The video that I'm gonna make today has been a long time coming. I want to address these people, these hecklers, who always, you know, every month, not every week, but every month, at least one of them will come and criticize my drag being too loose and creating a line twist. Your drag is wrong, your drag is too loose, you're creating a line twist. First of all, so what if I'm creating a line twist? Maybe I like line twist. Okay, who's to say that, you know, you shouldn't have line twist? Maybe I like line twist. But uh, for those of you who don't know, let me tell you, you know, a few basics about how line twist is created. I, I hope that you can see here. Let's say you cast and you feel a bite and you set the hook and the drag slips. Okay, but you didn't reel while the, the drag slipped. This is exactly what happened. And, and then later you, you reeled. You did not create line twist, okay? When you're reeling, you are not creating line twist. When the spool is spinning and the drag is paying line, you are not creating line twist, okay? Here is when you're creating line twist. When you are turning the rotor, but you are not reeling line in, like so. See how I'm, I'm holding the line here now? I'm turning the rotor, but I'm not reeling line because the rotor and the spool are turning together. Now you are creating line twist, okay? It doesn't matter what line you have, it doesn't matter what reel you have, it doesn't matter how many bearings you have in the line roller. The line roller is not even moving. Look at this. Okay, how can the line roller do anything? The line is not going through the line roller. So, you are only creating line twist if you are reeling while the spool is paying drag. Okay, only, only then is line twist created. Now, as a matter of fact, I do create, you know, just a little bit of line twist when I fish. Because if you see the spool is, is spinning pretty fast, go away you stupid bug. The rotor is spinning like with this speed, but the spool is sometimes just a little bit slipping. You can hear the drag tick 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 tick, but Listen, tick, 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 tick. Uh, well, I only turned the spool like 10, 15 degrees. So if the drag is clicking very slow, you are creating very little line twist. Now, for those of you who will believe me, let me cast here, try to catch a few fish while I'm talking about this. For those of you who want to believe me, I never see when I do cra crappy fishing. Look at this. I never, I lost him see a line twist on my line. Now, I already said that I am creating a little bit line twist, but it's just not enough for me to notice. I never see like a loop. Oh, another one right here. Okay. So, I even thought about this. Why do I never see line twist in my line? And I believe the reason is that when you fish with Chupan line, you lose you lose line so fast that by the time you have enough twist enough rotations on your line i mean because look i'm casting here and whatever i cast it like 30 feet right maybe not even that and i'll be fishing with this 30 feet of line for a few hours and then then I'm gonna lose it. Then I need to retie. Every time you, you retie, every time you retie, you lose a few feet of line, right? Uh, or if you snag, I mean, I don't have to tell you. If you fish with two pound Varivas line, you lose line pretty fast. As a matter of fact, uh, at the end of the season, well, look at this bluegill, man. At the end of the season, I don't really throw the, the old line 
and replace it. Uh, I just run out of wine at the end of the season. So, give me a second here to to put my lure back. I tried to crazy glue it, but it came right out. And it's not going to be crazy glued. But whatever. So my point is, I believe that I am creating very little line twist and I am losing line with some speed that I just, I mean, I don't know. I know you're not going to believe, but I don't see loops of, loops of twist on my line. I just don't. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't care, honestly, if I did, because let me catch this fish and, and, and I'll tell you. That's a nice fish. And those of you who, that have followed my channel for a while know that I might not be the nicest person out there, but I'm pretty blunt and I don't care. And I would tell you, honestly, if I had a line twist, I would tell you. And if I had a line twist, I wouldn't even care. Okay, I wouldn't change the way I fish or the way I set my drag. Excuse me. How, how much do you think I paid for gas today? You know, my Subaru can use only premium gas and I make like 14 miles per gallon uh, when I'm towing my boat. I mean, it's like $40, forget about the gas of the boat. It's like 40 bucks. I, I have to drive pretty far to, to come fishing here. It's like $40 for gas just to come here. Now, imagine I did get loops on my line and I, I was facing a dilemma here. I need to tighten my drag or I have to start buying a new spool of line every month. Just forget about the season. Every month I need a brand new spool of line. What do you think I'm gonna do? Do you really think I'm just gonna put some four pound line here and tighten the drag and just horse these fish out? I'm not, I don't care. I, if I was getting line twist, that wouldn't change at all the way I fish and the way I set my drag. I mean, look at this, how many bluegill I, I caught while uh, recording the, this video. I enjoyed every one of these fish. These bluegill, if you catch them with four pound line and tight drag, forget it. It's, they're not gonna be competitive. And if that was the only way, wow, well, the war is completely gone. If that was the only way to fish, I don't know, I probably wouldn't even do ultra light fishing if the only way to catch fish is with four pound line and just horse the fish out. This is so ugly and unpleasant and unnatural and obnoxious. I'm sorry, but to me that's obnoxious, just horsing the fish out with, I mean, okay, maybe some people like it. That's, that's at least how I feel. Give me a second, I wanna put a new uh, piece of bait here and I'll catch a few more fish and close the video Okay, that'll do that'll survive two or three bluegill But you know how I set my drag I set my drag that Sometimes I check it before I even cast. I, I, I want to know that it's ready to pay line. But I set my drag. So when I set the hook, I have to, I want the line to slip a little bit when I set the hook. It has to slip on the set. When I set the hook, it has to be like zzz. And then every time when I'm fighting the fish, every time the fish turns with the head away from me and it makes a run 
I want my drag to slip too. It's really not uh, the way I set my drag. It's really not a... Oh, that was... Hmm. I don't know what that was. That took with some... But it's really not a concern about the strength of the line. Because if, if some new technology came and this line is 0 0.11, and all of a sudden, 0 0.11 millimeter line was 10 pounds strong. My drag would be exactly the same, the same it is right now. I need it to slip on the hook set. And then when the fish is running, I need it to slip again. I don't know why I keep missing this fish here. But you can kind of see what I mean right now. Right, every time this bluegill, they hit with such hatred, man. They grab this and they, uh, like a pit bull, just. Here we go. They just cannot tolerate this kind of business around the beds. Okay, so if you do like this, pull, then reel, pull, then reel. Oh, we have a little bass here. That's why the bluegill. Uh, little small come here come here dude i'm gonna break <laughs> you gotta be kidding me dude maybe this smallest poked my fish should be more fish here but yeah if um if this line was stronger or if i was using braid I would still have my drag exactly the way it is right now. So I wanted to make this video when people heckle me again, your drag is too loose, you're creating line twist. I want to just give them this link, come and watch this video. I don't get line twist, but if I did, that wouldn't wouldn't make any difference that wouldn't make any difference to me I just put new line all the time I do not care my drag will be has to be the way it is right now and it will always be so if it bothers you sorry tough it's very easy to just close the browser Unsubscribe first, please. Unsubscribed. Unsubscribe. We don't need to discuss this twice. And yeah, no need for negative uh, emotions. Most people on YouTube have the drags pretty tight. Why you have to watch my videos and irritate yourself? if I can get one right here uh, let's catch one fish and close the video no man this this roar just cannot stay on the hook even for three fish let me cut a piece of it and put it back on Tim, geese. All right, this should be able to catch us the last fish. Let's check the cast. Check the drag. Okay, it's ready. Nibble. Here we go. See how it it paid drag, and and then every time I pull, it it, it pays like. It pays line again. This, this just sends some signal, signals to my brain that makes me enjoy fishing. And it also, it kind of tells me that, I don't know, that the reel is set good and it's ready to pay line if, if you catch a bigger fish. But like I said, even if 
I had a line that's very strong, my drag would be exactly the same. I would not tighten my drag. Uh, folks, I gotta go get the dehooker for this guy. I don't wanna harm him. Oh, it came out. No blood. No. Don't worry, no blood. No fish were harmed in this video. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.